All right, so the second domain that we're going to enumerate here is the asset security domain. Let me first start off by saying or asking a question about what is an asset? What do you think an asset is? So anything that has value, right? So for an organization, give me an example of something that may be of value to an organization. Okay. What's that? People. People? Yeah. Buildings, people, computers, cell phones. What about intellectual property? Um, Anything that's not tangible that you can think of off the top of your head? <clears throat> well, they start to talk a little bit about some of the, the IP in this chapter, the intellectual property, trademarks, copyrights, um, different processes, certainly policies could be... Um, you know, specific to your corporation or your uh, your specific company. Here, uh, they begin this discussion on the information life cycle. And this information life cycle starts to try to quantify it, if you will, into more of a process whenever we start to uh, deal with information. The way we handle the uh, retention policies, the, the markings, the labelings, the, uh, the privacy information. It gets into the cyclic approach here of acquisition, being able to see how you can use it into archival and then disposal. So two key words that I want to touch on here is on page 192 here. What's the difference between backup and an archive? Well, backup is a copy of a data set currently in use that is made for the purpose of recovering from a loss of original data. And an archive is a copy of a data set that is no longer in use, but is kept in case it is needed at some point in the future. So I say that because it's important that you um, know those, how to discriminate between those two because they're... Uh, they're definitely going to show up on your uh, on your exam. So, what's the good in having a backup if you don't ever test it? Any of you guys ever put, been put into a situation where you've created a backup and then you know the the stuff hits the fan and then all of a sudden you need to revert back to that backup and uh, it's been six months or eight months or a year since the last time you've looked at it and it doesn't work. Uh, I know I have, and it's quite frustrating when that does happen. Um, so you always need to test your backups. So dealing with the DOD and um, starting to, to encroach in a lot of the commercial side of the house, here on 195 is a great uh, table that helps to um, clearly differentiate between the, the different types of uh, commercial and military data classifications. And I would uh, I would encourage you to at least become familiar with these whenever you're going through and, and studying for the exam. Um, 